Over the last few years, Leica cameras have gone up in price and a lot of people don't want to spend that kind of cash for a film rangefinder. Luckily, there are much more affordable alternatives out there and this Olympus is a nice option and on top of that, it's a beautiful looking camera. Finally, I had the chance to try it. After months without shooting film, it was very exciting to shoot a roll of Vision 3 250D. The film has been developed by a local lab in Bangkok and scanned by myself back at home. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Bangkok. It's a beautiful day, a little bit too hot, but nevertheless, I'm going to shoot an episode today. And the camera that I will be using today is a camera that I've never shot before. So this will be the first time ever shooting this camera for me. And it's this one here. And it's the Olympus 35 SP in black. And it's really beautiful. Beautiful camera. So in uh, mint condition, I just got this uh, yesterday. <laughs> But I cannot wait to shoot this and today will be the day shooting this camera. Um, it's a nice camera, but more on that a little bit later on in the video. And of course I will need some film. And the film I'm going to shoot today is also a film I've never shot before. I mean, technically I've shot it in 120, like the Sinister 400D, but this is not, not Sinister, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's 400D, so it's based on, most likely based on Kodak Vision 3 250D without the Ramjet. So this will be developed in C41 chemistry. So I'm going to pop this into the Olympus and let's give it a try. So what's say without further ado, Olympus 35SP, 4NT, Bangkok, let's go. Oh, I forgot to mention that I was using off-camera flash to shoot this roll. You're the captain, huh? <laughs> Can I take a photo? I like your hair, it looks awesome. Okay, what? Well. Oh, you're with a hat, yes. Where are you from? Germany. Germany with a hat. Yes. Yeah. Come on, come. <laughs> Keep drinking. <laughs> yeah. Most people I came across in Bangkok are absolutely lovely. So this area where I'm here right now uh, is usually uh, it's packed when uh, around sunset. There's plenty of people here taking selfies and stuff. So uh, yeah, during sunset, this is might be a good uh, place to come. So as you can see, I'm using I'm using flash right now. Um, just because this camera has a leaf shutter and so I can sync at any speed. I'm currently shooting at uh, f11 one five hundredth which will pretty much get rid of the ambient light, especially in the shade, and the flash will fill in. It will not get rid of the ambient light entirely, but I'm always aiming for one to two stops under exposure. For five meters, one eighth, F11. In here, I can uh, maybe go to 130. <laughs> go for gap. Let's go back to F11 and 500. In front of the flash was an orange color gel to give it a little warmer color temperature. Up. 
<laughs> I think I made her day with taking her photo. <laughs> she had such a good laugh. Alright guys, the first few shots are in and uh, I need something to drink. Oh my god. Oh, so hot. But uh, I couldn't wait. I wanted to shoot the camera. So, uh, and of course I want to see if it works. Because uh, even though it looks pristine, it doesn't mean that it's working properly. So, And it looks kind of funny with a flash on top here. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, shooting this is fun. Even though it's not uh, 28 mil. If this would be a 28, oh my god, this would be amazing. But nevertheless, um, it's a 42 mil lens, so it's not too bad. And yeah, because of the leaf shutter, it's really cool to use a flash with this. Can't wait to see the results, especially also the film. I have no idea how this will look. Um, yeah, so I will now finish this iced tea here and then I will uh, take some more shots. Uh, it's pretty busy here and like I said before, there's uh, cool characters around here. So let's, I will try to find some more characters um, to take pictures of. All right, talk to you later. the jack man holy shit I guess she must be the head of the local mafia That's what I would call a cool character, despite the mask. So far so good, um, even though it's a great camera and it's a, a rangefinder with a leaf shutter, uh, that usually would mean that the shutter is really quiet, but on this one it's not super quiet. I think uh, there are some SLRs that are as quiet as this one. Uh, I mean, it's fine in the daytime here out here, it's not a problem, but if you want to have a really quiet shutter, this is not, not the one in this case. But on the upside, it lets you sync at any speed, which is great. After finishing the episode, I thought it would be fun to also shoot a roll of Vision 3 500T. But before you see that, a quick reminder. If you want to support the channel, pick up one of my street photography zines with photos from various locations all around the world and all shot on film. You will find the link in the description below this video. And also give the video a like and follow the channel, that also helps out greatly. Thanks! Here I was shooting wide open at f1.7. So 130. The roll was processed in ECN2 chemistry in Bangkok and scanned by myself at home. The film was not pushed or anything.
If you're wondering about my speedy focusing, I wasn't really doing that because I used zone focusing for almost all of the shots except the first one. I really like the look of 500T developed in ECN2. When properly exposed, it's not overly grainy and it has some really nice colors. My settings were f5.6, 1 eighth of a second and my focus was set to around 1.3 meters. And like I said before, the film was not pushed or anything else. On the flash was again an orange gel, which works very well when shooting 500T and not using a filter to compensate for, you know, the tungsten balance of the film. Don't get confused, but the outro was filmed after finishing the first roll earlier that day. Alright guys, that's it for today, shooting the Olympus 35 SP here in Bangkok with the 400D film. Um, I have no plans to make this my daily film street photography camera, not at all, because it's a 42mm lens, not 28 so this will be more for general photography or maybe for some portraits. And also it's in such good condition, I don't wanna really scratch it or anything um, because I wanna preserve it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> at least I, I will try. Um, but I have to say it was good fun shooting this and I might do it again, maybe take a little bit more time, maybe shoot a little bit more. Uh, let me know if you wanna see this uh, camera again here on the channel uh, in the not so distant future. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today. Uh, as always, if you like this episode, uh, you know what to do. Smash the... Okay, not drop the camera, dropping the camera. <laughs> Smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.